It's the Ryan Yarbo shit box. What's up, everybody? Welcome to another episode with my palace and Feisty Pants. What's up, everybody? Welcome to another episode of Alex's Toy Show. Uh, I got the pandemic haircut. I got the pandemic coffee. I got the pandemic shit box. Life is good, right? I mean, what the hell else could you want? Get the hell out of here! So, um, I gotta, I gotta, um, I gotta give my hair off, hat off, tip my hat. I don't know. To say thanks to my, to my barber, uh, Doctor. Oh, what the hell did we call her? Doctor, uh, Doctor Pete, the Pete the Butcher, Pete the Butcher. That's what it was. That's what it was. It's my buddy Jen. Um, you know, like uh, they just opened uh, hair salons and nail salons and barbers and crap. You figure. They might be open, but they're going to be booked. Like, I drove by the one I go to usually, and then I drove by my backup just on a whim. And they were mobbed. And I'm like, well, good for them because, you know, how, how long you've been out of work and everybody's missing out on work and, and all that jazz and everybody needs money. But um, I went, like, a couple weeks ago. My buddy, she's like, oh, yeah, I did my husband's hair. And I'm like, bro, I'll be right over. They're, they're, they're my friends that I go to the bar with all the time when I defend my... Bar Trivia Championship title? Yeah, on, on Saturday nights um, at Fridays, TGI Fridays. I have, I have, there's a weird light going on here. Like, this side of my face is really light. This side of my face catches a shadow. I'm like the dark side of the moon over here. All right, anyway, we got some baseball cards to open. I'm pretty pretty pumped about it. Uh, top, Tops 2020 Series 1 is, like, wiped out. Um, like, even, like, you know, the Rite Aids and the Walgreens nothing um there's blaster boxes at target they they lasted a day like, <laughs> like and my walmart doesn't sell cards like i don't know where the hell they keep their cards they say they carry cards walmart doesn't have cards no they they never have anything over there at the walmart i don't know how walmart is by you but um not here all right so this is i have a story about tops opening day this is 2019 Tops Opening Day. Ryan Yarbo, he's the All-Star Rookie Cup, but it's the Opening Day logo. And this is like the refractor. I'm not really sure which refractor it is, but it's some kind of refractor in itself. And, you know, back in my day, Tops Opening Day was like, who's buying Opening Day? Give me Series 1. And, uh, you know, like I get a bunch of these and I'm like, wow, you know what? I might need to start buying Opening Day. Tops did have opening day. I'm sorry, Target did have opening day uh, blaster boxes. I may need to go get one. Uh, and then, uh, you know, quick uh, quick look through the pack. We got a pack of Donruss. What the hell year is this? Is this uh, 1990? 1990 Donruss sealed wax pack. Everybody knows the story about wax packs and why they're, why they're crap. <laughs> because they're just sealed with wax. You could... You could legit, like, open it carefully, you know, break the wax and legit open it carefully, search the pack for the cards you want, and then, like, reseal the pack with more wax, and, you know, people were pretty shady. Dirt bags. Oh, yeah, it's a, it's a sealed pack. Wow, look at this. It's a 92 Fleer Gary D. Sarsenia prospect card. Nobody knows who Gary D. Sarsenia is. Look him up. I like these because they show you cards that you don't see usually oh look at this ryan sandberg ryan sandberg the first the first guy to make nine million dollars a year really broke the bank broke baseball's bank you wonder why people make 80 billion dollars a year playing baseball it's because of ryan sandberg's fault well really it's jose canseco's fault he was the first million dollar player but but ryan sandberg at second base late in his career does not need to make nine million dollars a year it was ridiculous that was the first time I remember saying, wow, this is ridiculous. Gary Carter, after he fell in the hole and came out of the hole, we used to wonder what, he had gotten hurt really bad playing with the Mets, and uh, we're like, where's Gary, Gary Carter? We didn't know he was hurt because, you know, there wasn't, uh, there wasn't internet and all that jazz back in the day. You only caught what was on SportsCenter, and we didn't always watch it, you know? So we're like, oh, no, he's hurt. And, um... You know, your your local newspaper didn't always report that so-and-so was hurt. So we, we made up this thing that he fell in a hole. <laughs> Short story. <laughs> it's 
ridiculous. All right. Uh, so far, Gary D. Sarsenia is the best thing going out of this box. Oh, Mark McGuire. Hey, <laughs> daughter's Mark McGuire. That's kind of crap. I would like to talk to the people who pack these boxes because, you know, one card is this way, the other card's upside down, the other card's backwards. I'm like, straighten it out. Benito Santiago, this guy caught popularity because he would throw people out at second base. He's a catcher. He would throw people out at second base sitting down. That's how he caught. He was sitting down. We're like, that guy is awesome. Lenny Dykstra, tough as nails. This person's backing up next to me. I was parked at Quick Check getting a sandwich. Oh, look at this. I like when they throw you two of the same card. I got a pair of Todd Froworths. You know what they're worth? Nothing. <laughs> Rob Dibble. We still tell stories. This is like a Rob Dibble rookie, I think. I don't know. I, don't, I Tops was weird about rookie cards. Like, everybody would save the rookie to put it in their traded set. But really, like, not everybody bought the traded set. So this is where you needed to get it. This was So, whatever. Anyway, Rob Dibble pegged the guy. He was um, he was running to first base, and it was like a bunt. And he's like, this motherfucker bunts on me. He picked up the ball, and, you know, he would throw like 100 miles an hour, and he whipped the guy square in the back running to first base. Oh, that was a... <laughs> that was some shit, let me tell you what. All right, I got a Ruben Tejada rookie. Tops Chrome. Did Ruben Tejada amount to anything? Does anybody want this? We used to love the classic cards. We used to think, you bought these in like a set, like a little box, and it was a game. And they gave you trading cards to play with the game. And a lot of times, they were like, oh my God, that's, that's a rookie, you know? I don't, like, I don't know if it's a rookie, but anyway. Oh, look, and there's a 92 Donruss Dave Justice. Very nice. Very nice. Oh, my God, I cannot believe my eyes right now this is this is my favorite player right here Andy Van Slyke that I have like a billion cards that they flew out National Geographic flew out to my house Andy Van Slyke we spent the whole day uh, talking about a whole lot of cool things we played catch right in the street but what did they film all all the nonsense with me and this psycho psychologist I can't even say the word to say that I was seeing him as a father figure I'm like no he's just my favorite player Get the hell out of here Get the hell out of here! But I would never, I would never, for the life of me, I would never get any Van Slyke cards in a pack. Most of my cards I've bought or traded for. Wow, that's a cool card. I have like a billion of those 87 tops too. All right, so Top Stadium Club was super awesome. They, uh, they had these borderless cards, like Upper Deck. Everybody was making these car, uh, trading cards like, like this. This is 89 tops, right? 89 tops, you know, you get a half quality picture, cardboard, black and white on the back, and then Upper Deck comes along, same year. Uh, this is a 92 Upper Deck, but 89 Upper Deck look pretty much the same. Nice sharp border, big, you know, very color, sharp looking action pose. Oh, shit. Um, color photo on the back instead of like just their stats, you know. You had a color photo on the back with their stats, and it was, everybody was shocked. Cards were like 25 cents a pack, 35 cents a pack some places. Upper Deck, a dollar a pack in 1989. We're like, who's paying a dollar a pack? But you get quality shit. And then Tops was like, ah, we're going Stadium Club. Color photo, no borders, color, you know, gorgeous card. This particular one is um, a Toys R Us brand, 92 Upper Deck, uh, Upper Deck. 92 Top Stadium Club with the Toys R Us logo. They had a, um, Toys R Us was issued a, a dome set of some sort. And um, it came in like a stadium shaped box. And there was like, I think 150 cards. I don't think it says how many, 70 of 100, okay. So there was a 100 card set. And it was, you know, it was like a couple of rookies, couple of stars, nothing serious. But, you know, they didn't make a whole lot. So um, kind of hard to get. Dave Concepcion, and there's Onyx Concepcion. I didn't know that was a person till just now. And we used to have names for everybody, like Dan Petri Dish. <laughs> I'm sure, 
I'm sure he's heard that before in his life. Oh my goodness. Doug Bear hibernating. There's a lot, a lot you can do with Doug Bear. Oh wow, this is interesting. This is a uh, 2010 Tops Ian Desmond rookie. Nice. I think he's still playing. This is pretty sharp. I've never seen this before. This is Ian Kroll, Kane County Cougars, 2010 Midwest League prospect. I think this is just like a minor league card. Check it out. And then the back. Uh, Princeton USA, Major League Baseball trademarks, copyright. All right. Yeah, MLB.com. Pretty cool. I've never seen these before. That's awesome. Uh... Rob Deere in headlights. <laughs> All right, and then the rest of these are kind of shitty. Oh, here's a John Lester card. Hold on. No, it's not a rookie, though. 2018 tops, John Lester. Pretty sweet. All right, let's see what's in this 90 Donruss wax pack and get on our way. This video is, like, taking forever. See, like, the, you'd open the wax pack, and then part of the wax pack would get stuck to the card. Look, Ilya, it's only baboon, like an explosion, you know? <laughs> Come on. Oh, shit, two Andy Van Slyke cards. What are the odds? Everybody else sucks. Oh, Goose Gossage. All right, I mean, that's cool. Goose Gossage on the Yankees. Alex Sanchez rated rookie. Because <laughs> that amounted to anything. Nice. All right. Baboon. <laughs> Enjoy.